Good morning, everyone. Hey. It's 11 minutes past 8 o'clock. <laughs> Welcome back to Iowa Live. It's Friday. Hey. And one of the things we like the most about Fridays is because we bring the funny in on Fridays from the funny bone. Yes. We got a double dose of it here this morning. And powerhouse females uh, <laughs> leading the charge. So love that as well. The Girl Next Door Comedy Tour stopping at the funny bone, folks. Uh, this is a big deal. And folks, for the first time, that was a, almost a decade. Lana Turner. Has it been that long? That I have seen you, young lady. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a connection here. Yes. You guys know each other yes. from years past. No question about it. Uh, Lana Turner, comedian you're just, you're extraordinaire. Just extra. <laughs> no, no, she's not an extra. This is Rosie Tran. Uh, she is here as well. And this is a powerhouse team yes. that is all set up. for. First yes. of all, welcome back. Thank you. It's so great to see both of you. Uh, we've been chatting nonstop. Uh, Rosie and I have been chatting nonstop. Non she has, like, really fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Lana, we've known your work for years. Uh, it is outstanding. Thank and you. Um, your podcast uh, is absolutely amazing Thank that you have you. right now. Yeah. One of the most listened to podcasts. How many downloads now? We, we I, It's had over 1.4 million that's downloads. What, that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. And tell everybody what it's called. It's called The Perfect Ten. <laughs> okay. Um, which explain. sounds really arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, but it, the Perfect Ten makes sense when you first started. Explain yeah, what The Perfect Ten the was. Yeah, the history of the podcast. So it was originally started, My I was married to another comedian who's since passed. Um, his name was Ralphie May. He was a big, big comedian as well as big in this area. He mm -hmm. did a lot of shows. Yes, at, he did. A friend of ours, bone. too. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, so when we started the podcast, I was the one and he was the zero because Ralphie was very fat. <laughs> so <laughs> we stood side by side. That old joke, we look like the number 10. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how it started. And I just kept the name, and I, I actually haven't put up a new episode in a few months, but I'm re I'm, I'm in the process of putting more up. So I'm always keeping it going. Yeah, because you, yeah. you you stockpiled quite a few of them, didn't you? Yeah, and if you go back, you can listen to a lot of old Ralphie content, which is really special to have. Right. Yeah. Absolutely, but yeah. you're, you're sticking with the business and continuing to bring the laughs and, and Yeah, time. yeah, you know, um, it's been a rough couple of years with him, like, well, I mean, our. Before he passed, we weren't together, and that mm -hmm. was tough. And then when he passed, that was even tougher. But it's amazing how you can take those hard times and, and make it into comedy. I mean, it's, it's either do that or you just, it's, yeah. It's no, but that's, <laughs> that's your outlet is what it was. Yeah. yeah, comedy helps people get through hard times. And as a comic, it definitely has been... Um, something that I've been able to use in my act and, and help other people, you know? Like, Absolutely. I'm not alone in, in loss. We're all there. So come out and laugh, and it, it's helpful. Absolutely. And we also yeah. understand there's a documentary in the works? Yes. That's been something. When um, So our my marriage with Rafi split up We because he was very sick, obviously, mm -hmm. but he was addicted to a lot of substances, and food was one of those substances mm -hmm. he was addicted to. And we, um, about nine months before he left the marriage, we tried to do a weight loss documentary. And so we have all this footage of him struggling in his addiction. And he actually failed at the weight loss <laughs> part and left the marriage at the end of the documentary. So we had edited this film. I say we, I keep myself out of the editing, the creative process, because okay. I'm a subject in it. But um, edited this film about a man who was going to try and lose weight who didn't. And then um, before we were able to complete it, he passed away. And so we had to completely change the documentary, mm -hmm. and it's it's really close. It's about ninety eight percent finished, just doing sound, and okay. um, it's the saddest <coughs> comedy documentary you'll ever see. As you say, it sounds like it's powerful. Yeah, is what it is. It's sad, and it's it's got some funny moments in it, but it's it's an amazing documentary. But also, while Kat Reinhardt, who's the producer of the film, was on the road with him, she also filmed him doing a lot of stand up. So a secondary project is a one hour special of his with footage nobody has ever seen because it was right. all shot with him on the okay. road so there's two projects that came out of those hard drives right but you've done yeah. a lot of projects so uh, you know uh, beside that too we're going to talk about those yes. here in just a little bit but rosie we want to talk about you young lady <laughs> oh, because okay. you are one <laughs> funny person uh, oh thanks it's a lot of the things that you talk about on stage uh you draw from your own uh like family and experiences oh yeah for sure okay <laughs> <laughs> as you roll your eyes uh cra yeah i had a movie made about me crazy broke asians i don't know <laughs> 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 that's who it's that, about. That's okay, not the recognizer. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, crazy yeah. rich Asians. <laughs> <laughs> but crazy and, and I asked, and I asked before the cameras turned down. I go, all right, 
is it really true about this? Is it really true about that? Or was it just stories? And you said, no, no, this is right on, isn't it? What, what, what was really true? Okay, uh, like, let's, let's talk about the, uh, the, the driving. Oh, that's true. <laughs> no, the, the, with your own personal experience? Yeah, three car accidents in the past six months. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. And I wasn't drunk. <laughs> In, that's in six months, three accidents. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's Driving terrible, under the but influence hilarious. of stereotype. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Asians. I'm a bad driver. <laughs> <laughs> but, but those are the things that I think a lot of people can relate to, and, and you're not afraid to talk about that. I'm not. Unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of people come up to me after the show and they go, "Rosie, is your material true?" I'm like, "It's all true." See that? I'm not the only one. <laughs> it's <See>? all true. <laughs> a lot of comedians do make up their material, though. They make stuff up from fantasy. But unfor unfortunately, I have enough life experience. <laughs> to make jokes about. Based in life experience. Okay, so give us something else. What, what's, what's something else you love to talk about when you're on stage? Oh, I love talking about my culture, talking about my mom. Um, we were bonding about food before <laughs> we, the camera started rolling, but um, I don't know if you guys know much about Vietnamese food. We, ha you know, we have this delicious soup called pho. Have you guys yes. yes, we do. We have a festival we have, here. We have yeah. a pho festival yeah, now. Yeah. Oh, right wow. Here, Moines, yeah. I'm excited yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, uh, summertime. In the summer, yeah. yeah. So summertime. you have to come back. Come yeah. back in the summer. So for those of you who've never had pho, it's this delicious delicious um, Vietnamese broth soup, and we take all the weird stuff on the cow white people don't want to eat, and we put it in the soup. So. <laughs> oh, wait, that's and what that is? delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's in it. That's yeah. what's in it? <laughs> yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, the okay. lower the number on the menu, the weirder the item. Okay. okay. That's that's the trick in a Vietnamese restaurant. Okay, good to know. <laughs> you just pick some little tip up here. That's perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. But, but again, then, uh, you're talking about the, the food, different type of food things here. Uh, do you still eat uh, Vietnamese food in a regular basis? I do, but sometimes I get a lot of negative stereotypes. Like, I've had people ask me, oh, do Vietnamese people eat dog? I'm like, oh, first of all, dog is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so, so good. So good. <laughs> so just put down the stereotypes, okay? Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. But later on tonight, folks, Funny Bone is where these two ladies are going to be. We're going to take care of a little bit of biz, yes. and we're coming back. They're not going anywhere. This is Iowa Live.